Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I uh, got a few questions about the Perfect Pearl, so I thought I would show you a few things that you can do with Perfect Pearl. Um, I'm going to take a orange, and I'm going to take some Pearl X, which is basically the same uh, thing. It's pigment. It's like mica in a sense. And this is Duo Blue Green from Jack... This is from Ranger. This is from uh, Jackard. Jackard. I don't know. I love this stuff. Um, so let me put that there. All right. So right here I have uh, white school glue. I have, um, Mod Podge. I have Collage Podge and I have Gesso. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to, you want to use a very, uh, dry brush. So if your brush is wet, you just want to dry it off for a second because it will stick. I'm going to take some of my uh, blue and I'm going to dip my brush in and you can see how it drags on there and I'm going to mix it in with the white school glue. All right. Give it a good mix. Now let's see if you can see. You can't really see that. So I'm going to use it on. This is the white school glue and you can use the Pearl X in this. In the white school glue. Yeah, you can use it as a layer on a canvas, on polymer clay, whatever you want. Art journal, a piece of printer paper, whatever your little heart desires. And let's see, I don't know if you can really see the glitter in there yet, the shine, a little bit, but it has to dry. So I'm going to rinse my brush off. I have myself jammed up to the corner of my, the corner of my, uh, desk here. I really got to clean up. All right. So now I'm going to use perfect pearls and this color is Mandarin and this is the Mod Podge. So I'm going to put some in, put some in my Mod Podge. Remember you can put as much or as little as you want. And I'm going to use a little bit more. I wouldn't advise sticking your brush back in like I do, but hey, I'm a rebel. <laughs> All right. So this is what else I do with Pearl X or Perfect Pearls. And you see how you get that cool color. And like I said, you could do this on polymer clay as well as you're finishing to add some color. And once it's dry, you should be able to. And you can do two coats as well. It's going to be permanent. It's not going to be water soluble. And I'll show you that once it's dry. Okay, so then we got the orange. All right. Let me rinse my brush again. This right here is Collage Podge Glossy. So this would be a uh, glossy Mod Podge, glossy Collage Podge, glossy whatever you have. So I will do some blue in that. So you can see the consistency. Some flew over there. We're just gonna mix it up. Go both ways with your brush because we all like to go both ways. All right. And you can see I put more color in there. So you can definitely see how much darker. And I'll, I'll use these in an upcoming project that I'm doing so you guys can really see it go on with what it does with the uh, different mixed medias and whatnot. All right. Can you see? I, I, it's hard for you guys to really see the shine in there, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. And then last we have... Just keep rinsing my brush, drying it off. Next we have gesso. So if you want to color your gesso and you don't want to use acrylic paints, I will be doing a, uh, not right now, because I have a different giveaway going on right now. If you go back a few videos, you'll see the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Or you can go to knittingandthings.com and you can see it there. I'm just mixing some orange in here. This is just gesso. It's thick gesso. But if you're going to do a background and you want to have a colored background with a little bit of pizzazz, this will add great color and a little bit of shine, which is fantastic. Okay, let's 
can see that. You can kind of, yeah, you can see the shimmering in there a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do, just give me a second. I'm gonna erase, I'm gonna wipe up all this. Now, don't wipe it up, take a piece of paper and sop all that up, that greatness up, because that's a great start to a background, especially for those of you, I know there's a lot of you who get nervous with a white background, white canvas or whatever, that's great for you to just take it all. All right, so then we have those. So. If you want to use a glue stick, all right? Remember, glue sticks are archival. The white school glue is not. So I'm putting on, let's turn you this way. So you can see, I'm putting on a little bit of white glue stick. I'm gonna take my brush again, I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna take some blue, just stick my brush in there, and just gonna give it a little, now you'll see, it's not gonna be as, um, opaque as, as mixed together because it's white school glue. However, you get a great little grungy technique. And you know I love me the grunge. But you can do it with a glue stick. It gives you, like I said, a grungy technique, but still in all, very nice. If you like that kind of thing. Perlex comes with, or uh, Perfect Pearls comes with, Different, um, don't seem to have any here. Anyway, you can get tons of different colors of Pearl X, of Perfect Pearls or Pearl X. I mean, they come tons. I have a big thing of them. I love them. But uh, you can also water. Water works fantastic. So I'm going to move this just a second and wet right here. Just a little bit of water. I'm going to take some of my... Pearl X, and you're kind of making a watercolor, although it will become permanent. And this is just with water. So you don't have to have, it does come with like a, uh, like I said, a, I call it an embossing stick, but it's not. It's just a liquid form. And I don't exactly know what it's called. I probably should look into it for y'all. But where you can write, you can add, um, it comes with a stamp pad. So you can stamp something in it. Uh, and stamp on your page and then put then brush the Pearl X on it and I'll do a quick video later once I find the uh, other part of my Pearl X thing because I, I hardly ever do it like that you can um, so also if you have a uh, glazing medium which I'm gonna try a technique in a bit and uh, try it out and then I will let you guys know so I'm going to Try to grab my heat gun and just give it a quick dry off camera for one second. It's basically dry. See if you guys can see it a little bit better. Of course, the water, you know, the water sometimes will take longer because it goes into the paper a little bit more than the thicker stuff. But here's a look how that was the water in the Perlex. Look at that. How beautiful. Look at that shine on all the gorgeous 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 so just gonna feel to make sure it's all dry all right the glue stick is not all the way dry so I will not be trying with that let's turn you sideways all right so I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush and I'm gonna put it on here and show you how it is permanent now these two have to dry a little bit more so don't uh freak out because it's bleeding a little bit you just have to let it try a little bit more but look all water all over still the same still as deliciously shiny as can be look at that oh it's delicious deliciousness and it becomes permanent and look I'm wiping nothing comes off it is fantastic so keep your eye out for the next Perfect Pearls demo that I'll be doing with the stuff that does come with the Perfect Pearls. Um, I'm going to get it out of my thing right there. but uh, And then I'll show you how it is su not supposed to work, but what they sell you when you buy a kit and what to do with it.
very easy, very fun, but you can, you don't have to use it like that. If you see the perfect pearls, like at Michael's or AC Moore or the Pearl X, I love both. If they are on clearance, sometimes you get these on a clearance, like if colors are out of, you know, out of season or whatnot. Um, so you can buy them when they're on clearance for a buck or two and do so many fun things with it. Um, so I'm going to be doing, like I said, another video with these. This is just a quick, you know, quick show you a few things. Uh, and like I said, I'm gearing up. I, I'm going to probably do a giveaway of just a pack of these, just something to play with. And uh, so I want to kind of give you some techniques and also you guys can see it. So as always, be kind to each other. You'll never know about somebody else is fighting. Y'all rock. I love you guys. I will talk to you later.